Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Appium Framework series, today we are going to see how we can set up the util class where we can keep all of our reusable methods which would help us to kind of reuse that in different test cases or in the page object classes as well so just to give you a brief about what we have learned so far from the java framework concept we have first seen into the tree structure or the folder structure then we have checked how we can have the base package and having the singleton pattern for the driver or initialization and usage of the driver okay and then we have seen how to integrate the appium server programmatically okay so now under this base package i will be creating a class called as util so i will just take it as like this and i will put it as util okay so now regarding this util we have we have to now find it out what are the reusability methods that we can keep it inside an appium framework one thing is that the gestures so the gestures are very important part of your particular app functionality right you can scroll swipe you can do drawings all these things now if you remember in our appium topics series we have already looked into that so let me take you guys to the appium topics in this and you can see we have created one util.java file right where we are taking couple of things like you can scroll and click sometimes the uh, the elements are not visible exactly on your page actually or on your app screen you have to little bit scroll then only you can access those things to click or to perform certain operations especially in android it is very essential until unless you don't scroll to that particular element you will not be able to perform any actions there so you can see different things like uh, you have to verify if it is end of the screen scrolling gesture and then swipe gesture long press long press with uh, by using the gesture plugin drag and drop functionality drawing functionality so all these things are main important part of your app functionality right so these things has to be your reusable so what i'm going to do i will copy paste all these things and then we will tweak a bit to make sure that uh, it fits to our framework. Okay, and let's quickly do all the importing. And here instead of get driver, I need to go for the get current driver. That is how we have implemented the your uh, getter and setter, right? If you go here, you can see get current driver. okay so we have couple of errors still which are not related to import so let's see that what are those so it is asking to uh, set the language level to java 8 so what i'm going to do i'll right click on this project and i will go to the open module settings and here you can see i will have the java 11 here apply and then click on ok and this error should go okay and you can see that uh, all the utility methods are uh, now properly working and these things we have already discussed so i am not going to really repeat all these things you can tweak it as your ways okay fine then now what else we can keep it now these are all related to the gestures right even i can put the creation of the screenshots as well right now for the creation of the screenshot uh, so when we were learning about the Selenium 4, we have extensively discussed about the screenshot example. Okay, so as you can see here, 
capture full page screenshot and capture full page screenshot by using the a sort method or the library and then capture screenshot of an element so i can simply copy paste this one if you want to take a screenshot of a particular element so i can do like this and here i don't need the driver object let it be there and here file import and then here file okay so for the files utils actually we have to install the commons.io library so i'll go to here so instead of that let's just go with the selenium java i think that has it by default so i will go to here i'll say selenium java dependency here and then just copy paste maybe 4.13 for now and come back here in a new line do this click on this to load the maven and let's wait for some time okay i think it is done and uh, let me just load my maven project again and along with that uh, we have to install the commons.io so commons So here is the dependency, this one, and then let's go back here and then do that, refresh or load the Maven, okay, it all downloaded here, now come back here and you can see the file utils which is coming from Apache Commons IO file util. Actually you can do one more thing here, so whenever you are sending this email or the element, you can also send the file name here so this file name i can do one thing here instead of doing those things okay so it can be even more dynamic we can do that setup okay fine then and now if you come back here now that is actually your uh, capture a screenshot of an element right even you can capture the full page screenshot let's say and this is uh, very specific to the firefox driver only you cannot use that for any other and you have to make sure that uh, public static so that you can use it anywhere else public and these are all i'm putting into the utils method only and here firefox import and no need of the driver object you can simply take this file name here okay and the same thing here instead of this app driver dot get current driver get full page screenshot is coming from the firefox only and here the same way how we have done that okay and this file name i can put it directly here perfect okay so fine like this you can do that so that whenever you need this capture screenshot of an element or a full page or the normal screenshot even for the normal screenshot also you can keep it here like for an instance let me grab the normal screenshot somewhere i think it is in my if you go to this right in my selenium framework i have that ready made so let me pull that so from different places i'm just pulling it for ease of use i'm not really going inside each of this to explain how to create a screenshot and all those things so if you go here we have two different methods one is get screenshot by uh, like which, which is the visible screen only the another one is that you can convert that particular screenshot into a base64 format like if you want to attach the screenshot into the extent report which is like uh, uh, you can also publish that by attaching right we have discussed while learning the selenium framework so i'm also copy pasting those things so let me quickly do all these changes uh, which i have just discussed about that
and here actually it is uh, just throwing some uh, uh, error actually so what you need to do you need to change a bit get encoder dot one second why this error is coming let's see oh okay so you have to right click do the open model so settings i don't know why it is keep on changing so i'll just apply that and put it here and here you have to do the get enco encoder dot and you can see that uh, encode to string actually here and then the file name which i'm getting actually here this file this byte array file you need to pass it here fine so okay so you can see couple of different formats of the screenshots i have taken and also you can add not just limited to this you can add lot of utility methods like one of the utility method you can use if you want to click on a particular coordinate so at that moment you can take like like here you can put one more actually those things we can put it into the base page so no need to worry about that um, maybe one of the scenario you might get it for the utility method to to get the current date of the system or to get the current language of your system current time zone so all these things whatever which is very much reusable across your framework all these things you can put it and make sure that all these things are public static actually so that you can simply call util dot capture full page screenshot like for an instance let me show you one of the uses in the base test if you see that uh, th there were like we have given before method after method and all these things right let's say that you want to take a screenshot if your test case is failing let's say that you want to put it into the after method so what you can do you can come back here and you can say that if your test case is failing then you take that screenshot so how do you perform that so what we can do is that uh, after method actually here close up is there but no need to worry about that so i'm writing a logic into the into that concept so i can say i test result so you need to take the i test result okay and then you take this result so now this result will give me the current status of my test case execution after the test is executed after method always executes after your test case is executed right so now what i can do if i will say that result okay dot get status and you can see there is a get status method is there now this will be equal to equal to i will say that i test result i test result dot and you can see that different statuses a test case could be success success means if it is passed started means it is started but for us when it is failing right so when your test case is failing that time you take the screenshot so what i can do util dot and you can see all those static methods which i just created right everything is coming a simple screenshot i want to take so i'll say util dot get screenshot and i will say image name so you can give any image name for an instance you can also get the result dot get name or get test case name get test name you can get it so that test name itself you can send as a your string actually there let's see what is the error it is coming okay add exception so like this you can do so what this will do this will take the screenshot and put it into the screenshots folder let me show you that so because i am share i am putting that screenshot if the screenshot directory is not created here it will automatically create that so that is what one benefit actually of using the utility methods also if you are using let's say extend reports now you want to attach a screenshot to the extend report once your test case is failing so you can opt like this actually okay so those are the different ways actually you can use your util util methods perfect so i think yeah that's pretty much it about usage of the util but yeah don't stop here whatever i have given here you can keep 
keep looking into what is your requirement what are the different reusability methods that you can create it you can put it into the util now one last thing before we wrap up so not everything you would uh, you want to put it into the util dot util dot java file or into the util class right i would suggest to segregate your reusability methods into two different classes one is into your util.java for sure anything that is generic actually which is not related to your elements or your screen or your app specific functionalities right i would suggest that to keep it into the base page uh, so here you can create like a new package and you can say that under this java you can say pages okay and dot you can put base page and under this oops uh, not exactly here so i'll say pages and then you just do this and under this you can create a new class and here you can put base page actually now what this base page would do is that it will hold all of your page specific actions like click send keys waiting for an element or maybe verifying some text all those concepts or maybe handling your uh, your drop down values or reading a web table all those concepts you can keep it now one more thing about this util dot class let's say you want to read certain uh, what do you call files for an instance a json reader or maybe xml you are reading or you are reading a properties file i would suggest to not to keep it into the util class it would like make more uh, what you call clumsy and then a lot of code will be residing inside this which is difficult to maintain actually so depending on those things you can keep it a side uh, package or like maybe a side class for an instance you can create a new class as excel reader you can create a new class as a properties file reader or json reader like those uh, file classes you can create it into this but under this base package and you can use it across your framework okay hope that gives you an idea how to deal with the base package how to utilize the util methods or the reusable methods okay so let me know if you have any questions or any specific things needs to be added into this util definitely we will discuss in our upcoming sessions okay so we will be seeing some more interesting topics like this in our upcoming sessions so do subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching